This is how to duplicate all items within a very few minutes in Minecraft Bedrock 1.21. <laughs> As you can see we're starting in the stronghold in the end portal room. And there what you want to do is to place down your bed and set your spawn point. Very important, because otherwise you will spawn at the world spawn when performing this duplication glitch. Then you can go into the end. Here what you want to do is to go to the positive x direction as you can see by my coordinates. And there you want to go right to the edge of the end island. And we need to get down to about y2 or something like this, so right at the bottom of our dimension. And we can easily do this by just placing a lava bucket at the edge and wait until it flows down all the way. And once it's all the way down, what you can do is go ahead and place your water source. This will turn all the lava into cobblestone and you can go down the water stream. And once you're all the way down, you can go ahead and just place yourself a little platform that you can stand on. Make it some blocks wide so that you don't risk falling into the void. And then what you want to do is to extend out in the positive x direction. And you want to do this until you reach a coordinate that can be divided by 16, which is in this case 128. As you can see in the bottom corner of my screen, this actually is the block where I cross the chunk border. So 128 is already the new chunk, 127 is the old chunk. This is very important to know. If you want to get this resource pack, then you can download it from my Discord server. Link to it is in the description. Now what you want to do is to actually remove the last block so you don't have anything in that new chunk. You just have the border of your old chunk right here. And then what you want to do is to place your chest right on top of that exact block. You want to just extend out into this direction so you can stand on top of some blocks. And behind the chest you want to place the sticky piston, so right there. At the side of it you want to place your lever and then you want to flick the lever and you can already put all the items that you want to duplicate inside of your chest. I put everything I have in my inventory. Then you can close the chest and what you want to do next is to go up that water stream again. Now as you can see I'm at the top again and what you want to do next is to head right towards the portal that is in the middle of the end island. And there you actually want to pass through the end portal right to the overworld. As you can see this is where we spawned right at the end portal in the overworld because we placed the spawn point before. And now what you want to do is to go ahead and save and quit the game so the game remembers this point in time. Then you can go right back into the world and it should take some seconds only. As you can see, here we are. Now you want to jump right into the end portal again. So again, you are in the end dimension. Now make your way back to the structure that we built and jump down the water stream. So you're right at your platform again. And this is where we can already start performing the duplication glitch. Now the game should remember this point in time. We got the chest, which is the only block in the new chunk. And then we only have blocks in the old chunk. And now to perform the duplication glitch, what you want to do is to stand right behind the sticky piston and simply pull the lever so the chest is pulled back. And then you can go ahead and save and quit the game, no force quitting the game, so you won't lose any item in this process. You want to go back into your world, it will load and as you can see we have two chests that are in front of us and here we have the old chest where all my items are in. And now the second one, which is the duplicated one. And we also have the items that we wanted to duplicate in this chest as well. Now what you can do is to remove this chest right here. And then put all the items you want to duplicate back into the first chest. So right here. And then simply flick the lever. Flick the lever a second time. And then save and quit the game. Go back into your world and let's see if it worked again. As you can see we have two chests, we have the items in this one and we also have the same amount of items in the other one. You can simply leave these items in this chest, you can go ahead and remove this exact chest right here, make sure to collect all of the items and you can basically just repeat this forever and it will get duplicated every time. If it should not be duplicated for one time then you just have to redo the entire process with jumping back into the end portal which will only take you a few extra minutes and you can repeat doing this entire thing.
Now let's say that you don't have a sticky piston and you don't want to do this with this sticky piston setup. Well then there is a second method to do this. First of all, the general setup is the same, so you need a spawn point in the overworld right at the end portal and you also have to go down to Y0 and you can do this with lava and water as well. So let's go down and let me show you this second method. And now back at the platform, as you can see, this right here is the last block of the old chunk and here we are within the new chunk. And actually now you can place yourself a small platform to stand on, something like this. Now the next thing is to place down all the blocks that you want to duplicate. You can't duplicate any containers or chests or something like this with this method, but something like iron blocks or diamond blocks like this will work fine. Another good example are enchantment tables, these will also get duplicated. Now once you set all the blocks down in the new chunk, then you can go back up the water stream. Of course again what you want to do is to head back to your portal and jump through it. And once you are in the overworld, the next step to do is to open the settings and save and quit the game. Then of course go back into the world and we can already start with the process of duplication before doing this. Of course go back into the end dimension and now you want to go back to the platform that you built and there what you want to do is to remove all of these duplication blocks. So I take the pickaxe and I dig out all these diamond blocks and I make sure to collect all of them because otherwise they will fall into the void and will vanish. Then the next thing to do is to remove the platform that you built these duplication blocks on top to. So again you should not have any blocks within this chunk that you placed the duplication blocks inside. I only have the bridge left which already is in the old chunk. And now you can duplicate these blocks by just saving and quitting the game and then you want to go back into the world and let's see if everything worked as promised. As you can see I have the 7 diamond blocks in my inventory right here and also they are set on top of the platform and you can collect them and if you want to duplicate them a second time just remove the bridge again and then you just have to save and quit the game again. Let's see if it worked a second time. As you can see I have my blocks in my inventory, of course I lost one to the void, but the blocks spawned on top of the platform again and you can repeat this as often as you want. So I hope everything works for you, if it doesn't please leave a comment in the comment section and if you like the video then please don't forget to subscribe, I appreciate every kind of support I get and then I hope we'll see us again in the next video. See ya!